The only Jesus I know is him, and the one thing he don't need is a partner. Let's <laughs> wash out both of you. This picture has been in my family for as long as I can remember. When I was a baby, I don't know what I saw first. My mama, my papa, or this Jesus. Now he's the one I know and love, so let's close the subject. 10 TV to go on this Friday. Here's what you need to know before you head out the door. A Columbus man is accused of dragging a code enforcement officer by her hair while holding an ax during a house inspection. That's according to court records we obtained this morning. Anthony Maragiotti is charged with kidnapping and spitting on her. This was at a house on South Ashburton Road for an ongoing court case. 10 TVs confirmed through the Franklin County Auditor's Office. Maragiotti owned this property. Now, as for Maragiotti, he's Scheduled to be in court this morning. I believe God is white. First of all, white man, let me say that I love you, honor you, envy you, enjoy your smell, and I celebrate you in the name of white Jesus. Um, thank you? No, thank you. Look at that. That's a handsome young man, ain't it? Now, if God looked like Isaac Hayes, you think his son would look like this? Jesus yeah. was a white man, too, but you, you know, it's like, he saw her and it, it just pretty much escalated from there. Police say, police say the he was Anthony Margiotti. He's facing a string of charges accused of dragging a Columbus Code Enforcement officer by her hair and destroying her vehicle with an axe. Margiotti is in jail tonight and that officer is at home recovering. Soon TV's Brittany Bailey has been looking into the history of the violations at the property, where this all happened and how things escalated. Brittany. Well, Andrew and Yolanda, today we found it's not just the property that has a history of violations. The owner has a lengthy criminal past as well. Right now, there is an open court case tied to that property with a hearing set for Monday. And that sets the stage for the attack that happened just yesterday. This was the property on Ashburton Road on this rainy Friday, quiet and empty. And that's exactly how a Columbus code enforcement officer expected to find it on Thursday. She thought it was vacant because it's been vacant. But it was not. Court records show the owner, Anthony Margiotti, was there and apparently did not like that the officer was there as well. He's accused of dragging her by her hair back to her vehicle, all while holding an ax, which he then used to destroy that vehicle. She managed to get away and call 911. Building and Zoning Assistant Director Cynthia Rickman was surprised this happened to her employee. No one would have expected that, and so I'm sure the trauma, it's like anything else. It, sometimes it doesn't hit you then, it hits you later. Margiotti is now facing several charges, including criminal damaging, kidnapping, and harassment. That one for reportedly spitting in the face of an arresting officer. Extremely thankful and grateful that the situation um, didn't, while it was somewhat physical, but it could have been worse. Um, and so that's obviously a rarity um, in terms of that sort of thing. That code enforcement officer was alone on that call, which city leaders say is normal given the workload. The department responds to an average of 25 to 30,000 complaints every year. We do have a good relationship with CPD uh, and, and in some of our toughest and challenging neighborhoods. Um, that there is a liaison officer that they could reach out to let them know I'm in the neighborhood and I'm working in such and such and such an area. And so they always know. This particular property has been a problem since 2020 and is tied to a pending court case. That's why the officer was there on Thursday to take more pictures and gather more evidence for a Monday hearing. Now, while city leaders say they are grateful the officer is okay, it also can be a good time to reflect. Of course, we'll we'll take a look at if there's anything we need to change. You know, we'll we'll certainly do that. Now we are told that code enforcement officer is at home but doing okay. Meanwhile, Margiotti is due in court tomorrow morning. I also did say Jesus was white. As I've learned in the past two days, that is far from settled. Arrested and charged with attacking a City of Columbus employee Thursday while wielding an axe made his first court appearance this morning. NBC Force Matthew Hercheck was in the courtroom and he brings us the latest. 
37 year old Anthony Margiotti appeared first thing this morning and I can tell you being in the courtroom he was belligerent throughout much of that appearance and very combative with the courts as he faces charges related to that alleged attack last week. And this is Margiotti here. He appeared virtually, but you can see through the video system that he was yelling at the courts and we've even had to blur some of that video so that you can't read his lips, but the court never addressed his actions. They simply proceeded with the arraignment by speaking over him. Margiotti faces charges of kidnapping, harassment and criminal endangerment. According to court documents, a woman from the city's code enforcement office was walking around his house last Thursday when it appeared nobody was home. Home. Shortly after she heard a noise and Margiotti allegedly came out of the front door yelling and swearing at her. He then allegedly grabbed her by the shirt collar and hair and dragged her back to her car parked on the street. A court document say he was holding an axe and smashed all the windows in the car and also destroyed a computer in the front seat of the car. Now, the city employee was able to run away and call police for help. And according to Columbus Police, Margiotti spit in the face of officers while he was being arrested after the incident. Now, in court this morning, the public defender revealed to the judge that Margiotti refused to speak with them and told them he doesn't want them to represent him. Meanwhile, the judge set bonds totaling $350,000 for those three charges combined. These due back in court on Friday morning. Local for you at the Franklin County Courthouse, Matthew Herchick, NBC4. You know what? When you said that last time, I was kind of tripping, right? But now, you're right. I am crazy. But you know what else? I don't give a fuck. Do you truly see me? Someday, you will succeed me as Pope. But I do not want to be a priest. I do not have the soul for it. You cannot buy salvation. <sighs> I choose to burn in my own hell. Cesare! Now here is a board we can trust. I think that I am God's monster. I am Cesare Borgia! But if the boy is to become a man... Tell me, who is the true Borgia man? You are! You are! He must glorify himself and make a name even greater than his father's. Cesare Borgia, who are you? Cesare Borgia is said to have the countenance of Christ in the eyes of Satan. If hell does exist, we will all fly in the same path. I am evil, I am a sinner, doomed to spend an eternity in the dung heaps of hell. I just want to be here, you will say it. I have taken a life. I have been in love. I came to see if you were happy, yet. You're a good man, Cesare. I am not love. I am not special. Or I am only special. Because I am human. I am forever loyal to my mind. Then let me see if I can be your you. We together make history. You do not know fear.